Hey guys, Comic Boom here to review Batman issue 44. This issue is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, like a lot of the Tom King Batman written comic books, he doesn't need to have any dialogue in it. The art, between the art of Clay Man, Joel Jones, and uh, also Janin, I mean, these, these are excellent artists. The art in, this, in these comics is just absolutely amazing. You don't need, you don't even need Tom King's dialogue in this issue. This issue is just Catwoman having the wedding jitters and Catwoman sneaks out of, she's sleeping in Wayne Manor and uh, in Bruce Wayne's bed and she sneaks out of Wayne Manor and she basically uh, uh, blows up her way into a wedding salon where she picks out her wedding dress and it shows uh, past, uh, it shows past vignettes of interactions between Catwoman and Batman and that's all it is and what I like about it is that it's a callback to the classic Catwoman to the various incarnations of Catwoman in particular uh, I'll show you uh, I've got the first I've got the Silver Age appearance the first Silver Age appearance of Catwoman and you note that her costume here well this costume this exact costume that she's wearing here in her first Silver Age appearance uh, in this issue of uh, number 70 of Lois Lane is actually it's not in the comic but a very similar costume without the without the purple leggings is in it uh, but it's a nice callback also a callback of course to uh, Selena uh, Selena in his run in terms of her, her, her present costume was, of course was initially the brainchild I believe of Darwin Cook and um, this is the first issue of that uh, this is another pride of my collection Darwin Cook God bless his soul is no longer with us but fortunately I got his uh, signature uh, CGC copy of his Catwoman number one. So I was, it's one of the prides of my collection. I love it. Um, and also, how can we forget uh, another call back to a wedding? This uh, classic issue of uh, Jim Balance run on Catwoman issue 18. Uh, this is the last time, I think the last time that Selena wore a wedding dress was on this particular issue. <laughs> and uh, Well, let's just say she's a lot happier in this current issue than she was in this one, as you can tell by the cover. But uh, in any event, guys, my only comment about this issue of Batman, uh, the art is so beautiful. Tom King dis didn't need any dialogue. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come right out and say that Tom King should not have had any dialogue. This should have been an issue that had no dialogue in it whatsoever. The dialogue, in my view, took away from the issue. Uh, it didn't hurt the issue. I shouldn't say it took away, but it, it was not necessary. The art is absolutely beautiful in, in spots, but it didn't require... It didn't require any dialogue. The images spoke for themselves. The different incarnations of Catwoman uh, represented by the different costumes she wore as Catwoman. It was absolutely unnecessary to have any dialogue. The art was so beautiful between, uh, again, between Joelle Jones and Mikkel Janin. The, uh, the way they juxtaposed and, and, you know, went beside each other with the art on different pages. Absolutely gorgeous. This is really a, a joy to just literally just to look at the dialogue was completely unnecessary we didn't need the dialogue to understand the point of the story at all in fact i really think it was a significantly missed opportunity this would have been a better comic without the dialogue particularly tom king's dialogue because tom king he's with the sparse dialogue he's, a, he's he's never really he's not that great on dialogue he thrives on stories that where he has to rely on the artist he really truly does and in this one, so much so uh, that his dialogue was absolutely not necessary because the quality of the of the art, the quality of the artist here is so great. Absolutely no dialogue was needed whatsoever. Uh, in fact, it would have been more. Some of these scenes would have been actually heightened and would have had more impact had there been no dialogue at all, so that you could just allow the reader to appreciate and see what was going on. Um, this scene in particular. Uh, where Selena has had enough of her uh, of uh, dealing with Batman and her life and she just starts to cry she does we don't need the dialogue when Batman asks her we're drifting apart why what's wrong we don't need to we don't need her to say nothing and then everything we don't need her to say that it's obvious from the pictures um, scenes like this where Selena calls this is an uh, this is one of the uh, the a few moments in the comic where there's no dialogue at all fortunately and it's better for it uh, I, 
as a matter of fact, it shows Selena just going through a refrigerator, drinking some, you know, she's, she's in the wedding, she's in the wedding boutique and she's picked and she's going through the refrigerator to drink and drink some champagne while she's trying on different wedding dresses. And it doesn't need any dialogue. It also doesn't need the time. It, it displays the time, 518, 538. It doesn't, it doesn't need that. This didn't need any captions, it didn't need any dialogue, and, and, and unfortunately a real missed opportunity was had. Still a fantastic comic, the dialogue didn't take anything away, but if it wasn't there, it would have, it would have been that much better a comic book. Guys, uh, some of the full page spreads are just incredible here, and I'll try to put them up, I'll show you that, I mean the full page, full page spreads are amazing. Again, the dialogue completely unnecessary, and because the dialogue, unfortunately was uh, i think in many ways was it was almost kind of it was corny and bad in parts even talking he's going that the different outfits that catwoman wore throughout her career were beautifully illustrated throughout the comic book and then that's just sort of like the theme it's referenced and it's given uh, through the dialogue reference that Batman and her both have different outfits during their lifetime. And, you know, then then what are they looking for? You know, it, you know you're looking for the right costume. You're looking for the, r the right kind of fit as a symbolic of trying to find a right fit to sp for someone to spend the rest of your life with. So kind of an obvious cliche. Again, to totally unnecessary. And would have been so much better had no dialogue been in there i mean even this last page no dialogue again the times were there unnecessary where selena sneaks back into bed you know tells alfred you know don't tell him and then she sneaks back into bed beautiful because of no dialogue the best pages are the ones with no dialogue the ones that had dialogue are still beautifully drawn but would have been better even without the dialogue that is a compliment a full compliment to joelle jones who good news guys joelle jones it was just announced is getting she's going to get her own catwoman comic she's going to write and draw catwoman that's fantastic you should be happy selena very happy so that's so, I can't wait for Joelle Jones. Congratulations to Joelle Jones on getting that gig. I so look forward to Joelle Jones drawing her own Catwoman series. I gotta tell you, now Joelle Jones, along with Mikkel Madsen, uh, they did Lady Killer. Uh, and guys, I want you guys to check that out. You gotta ch buy this in trade. If you wanna see more, more examples of Joelle Jones' fantastic art, check out that, that series. Jo Story and art were by Joelle Jones. So I loved Lady Killer. Uh, Joelle Jones did a really good job on Lady Killer. Mikkel Madsen did the colors on it. And uh, colors, uh, Laura Alfred also did the colors on, on some of Lady Killer as well. Now, Laura Alfred is going to be doing the colors uh, on uh, Catwoman number one. And Joelle Jones is going to be writing it. Uh, this, is, this is a really great series. If you want to get some idea of how Catwoman is going to be written by Joelle Jones, check out Lady Killer. This is an excellent series. I already have high confidence that it's going to be kick-ass because if uh, her Selena Kyle has any kind of the shoot spy on the attitude that the Lady Killer has, it's going to be great. So guys, uh, check out Batman 44. Pick up copies of Lady Killer. Congratulations to Joelle Jones. And uh, until next time, guys, Comic Boom, out. Oh.